What is up creators, I hope you're doing well. Today's video is gonna be very quick. I'm just gonna show you the new tool that has been added into Lightroom with the latest update, which is removing objects using generative AI. So this tool is available in all versions of Lightroom, whether it be mobile, desktop, or classic. So before we jump into it, just a disclaimer that Lightroom or Adobe don't sponsor me in any manner. I paid the subscription to use Lightroom and Photoshop and their products. I'm just making these types of videos so you guys understand the new updates on Lightroom, which is our tool for editing. And maybe you can incorporate it into your editing process as well. So let's jump into it. So creators here in Lightroom have this image of this girl in the Colosseum. And I really liked how it looks shot from the back, but obviously being in a very concurrent place, a lot of people are gonna start walking in front of the camera like this dude or just getting in frame and removing these people it's very hard in Lightroom it's basically impossible in Photoshop it would take quite a bit of work so now we're going to use the new tool so up here where we have our healing and correction or retouching tools over here uh, we have the basic one which is healing where we can eliminate a certain point on our image and it will replace it with something similar in our photograph then over here we have the cloning and at the left we have erase or remove Right here we have the new tool which is generative ai we're going to mark it and also object aware which is will just allow lightroom to define the borders of our subject without having to go into details and having to spend a lot of time selecting so we're going to mark these two and then we can change the size over here or you can change it with the wheel on your mouse and we're going to select the first subject over here so by selecting object aware, you don't have to be very precise when selecting, but there are some things right here that I don't want the selection to include. We don't want to erase uh, the railing in the background because we want them to continue. So we're gonna select Alt on our keyboard or, or Option if you're on, on Mac. And we're just gonna erase some of the selection of the railing in the background, just to make sure that the program maintains the railing when it replaces uh, this dude over here. So something like that, I'm just gonna select enter to see what the program does. We let the program do its magic and as you can see, it's replaced the subject with a very believable background and even the railing looks fantastic. Now, if this isn't quite what you were looking for, down here you have variations where you can cycle through these three options and you can even refresh them to see other options for the generative fill that AI has created. So this is the second with a more solid uh, railing over here. And the third one doesn't look quite as good. So I'm just going to return to the first one and select enter. Now I'm going to erase the other subject as well. Again, just going to select it and hit enter. And it looks incredible. We've basically removed very complex objects on our image and made it a lot more useful than it was before. Of course, AI isn't perfect right here. We can see some of the railing. It wasn't rendered completely well. So we would use the healing tools over here to correct this and make it work. As a reminder, generative AI within Lightroom is dedicated to removing objects. In the other hand, if you want to add some objects via descriptive text, you would have to jump into Photoshop. So there you have it guys, a very quick video just exploring the new tools within Lightroom. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, all those things. I'm Tony Fuentes, just to all of you, and I'll see you in the next one.